Welcome dear students, we are on the CC Guruku lecture and we are in the series of the electronic circuit. And in the electronic circuit, we discuss the various components used in the construction of the electronic circuit. Many components we have discussed up to now. The one of the component today we will discuss is the thermoelectric generator. What is this thermoelectric generator? As the name suggests, thermal convert into the electric. Means the thermoelectric generator is a device that converts heat energy into the electrical energy by using the some effect. What effect we are using? Because we are talking about the thermal, so we use here the C back effect. So, by using the C back effect, oh, we can convert the heat energy into the electrical energy. The C back effect is a phenomena that occurs when a temperature difference exists between the two different conductors or a circuit of the conductors, creating an electric potential difference means when we talk about the C back effect then we get the uh, different conductors and the temperature difference we will collect between these conductors and then it produce a potential different electric potential difference. So, when the temperature difference exists between the two different conductors or a, of, or a circuit of the conductors then it creates a electric then it produces a electric potential difference. So, uh, thermal, so thermoelectric generator is a solid state device that have no moving part and can operate silently reliably for a long period of the time and that we use in the gadgets when we convert the heat into the electric energy. So, TEG that is a thermoelectric generator can be used to harvest the waste heat, waste heat from the various sources like the industrial processes like automobiles, power plants and even the human body heat that convert into the useful electricity. Now, TEG can also be used to power the remote devices like sensors, wireless transmitters and spacecraft by using the radio isotopes or the solar heat as the heat source in which we can use the solar energy or the solar heat just to convert in the electric. So, uh, how the thermoelectric generator work? How does it work? So, we discussed that how it works. Basically, thermoelectric generator consists of the two component. First component is the electro thermoelectric materials by using that we construct the device and second is the thermoelectric modules. So, thermoelectric generator consists of the two main components one is the thermoelectric materials and second is the thermoelectric modules. What is this thermoelectric material? Thermoelectric material are materials that exhibit the C back effect meaning that they generate an electric voltage when subjected to a temperature gradient. So, thermoelectric materials can be classified into two types N type and P type where N type materials have an excess of the electrons as we know and the P type material have a deficiency of the electron or the number of holes are more in the P type. Materials uh, when the N type materials and the P type materials are connected in the series by the metal electrodes then they form a thermocouple and this thermocouple basically is, is the unit of the thermoelectric generator. So, once we just uh, have the N type material and the P type material and this P type and N type material are connected in the series by the metal electrode and that make the thermocouple and this unit is the thermoelectric generator. You see on the screen that we are having the N type and P type and it is connected in the series and that work as a thermo generator. Now, a thermoelectric module the, is a device that contains the many thermocouples connected electrically in a series or thermally in a parallel. Means first we take the material that is the P and N type material that are connected in the series. Now module. In the module we connect the 
many thermocouples uh, in the series and thermally in the parallel. A thermoelectric module has the two sides. One side is the hot side and another side is the cold side. When the hot side is exposed to the heat source and the cold side is exposed to a heat sink, a temperature difference is created. As we have done in the thermocouple experiment, then one side is the hot side and another side is the cold side. Similarly, here what we do, a thermoelectric module has a two side, one is the hot side and another is the cold side. When a hot side is exposed to the hot source, and the cold side is exposed to the heat sink, temperature difference is created across the module and that temperature difference causing a current to flow through the circuit and this current can be used to power an external load or we can use this current to charge a battery. So, the voltage and power output of the thermoelectric module depend on the number of the thermocouples which we are using and the temperature difference between them. So, the C back coefficient and the electrical and thermal resistance of the material also play an important part for the output voltage or the power output. So, the current can be used to power then external load and the charge the battery. Now, the efficiency of a thermoelectric generator, how we can calculate? We define it as a ratio of the electric power output to the heat input from the source that define the efficiency of the thermoelectric generator ratio of the electrical power output to the heat input of from the source. So, efficiency of a thermocouple generator is limited or uh, is, uh, is limited by, by the Carnot efficiency and uh, which is the maximum possible efficiency for any heat engine operating between the two temperature as, as we are taking the difference between the two temperature. So, the Carnot efficiency is given by eta is equal to 1 minus th by tc and then we can take i is equal to uh, v by r plus r l. Now, what is the Tc? Tc is the temperature of the cold side and Th is the temperature of the hot side. The actual efficiency of the thermoelectric generator is much lower than that of the Carnot efficiency because of the various losses such as the joule heating, thermal conduction and thermal, thermal radiation. So, um, uh, the efficiency of the electric motor can be affected by the losses uh, in the Carnot efficiency because of the thermal conduction, thermal radiation at extra. The actual efficiency of a thermoelectric generator depends upon the figure of merit that is Zt of the thermoelectric material which is the dimensional parameter that measures the performance of the material for the thermoelectric applications and that figure of the merit is given by the Z t is equal to k alpha 2 sigma t and that can be defined as i is equal to alpha del t by r plus r l. Now, where alpha is the C back coefficient and sigma is the electrical uh, conductivity uh, and you know that k is the thermal conductivity and what is T? T is the absolute temperature. So, the higher the figure of the merit, the higher is the efficiency of the thermoelectric generator. So, what we uh, require that, uh, that the figure of merit is more than the efficiency of the thermoelectric generator is low. As the figure of merit depends on both the intrinsic property such as the electron and photon transfer transports and the extrinsic property such as doping the level and the geometry of the material. It means that the figure of merit depend upon the material which we are using for the construction of the thermoelectric generator. So, as the 
as higher the figure of merit and higher the efficiency of the thermoelectric generator and this depend upon the this figure of merit depends upon the two property first is the intrinsic which is the electron and photon transfer port and second is the extrinsic properties that are the doping and the geometry of the material doping which material we are uh, which we can dope to get the higher degree of the figure of the merit so the goal of the thermoelectric materials research is to find or design the material that have a high c back coefficient basically what we want we just want the high electrical conductivity and low thermal conductivity what we we want that the change in the heat must produce the electricity so uh, so the goal of the thermoelectric material research is to find or design the material that have a high c back coefficient and having the high electrical conductivity and the low thermal conductivity which is often the conflicting conflicting requirement now what are the some common thermoelectric material what type of material we can use for the construction of thermoelectric generator so as thermoelectric materials plays very important role in the in the um, efficiency so what type of thermo electric materials we can choose for the construction of the thermoelectric generator so thermoelectric materials can be classified into the three categories one is the metals second is the semiconductors and third is the complex compound so these three category we can use for the construction of the thermoelectric generator metals semiconductors and the complex compound what are the metals metals have the high electrical conductivity and having the low c back coefficient and the high thermal conductivity resulting in the low figure of the merit so metals are mainly used at the electrode or interconnects in the thermoelectric modules when we are required the left less efficiency then we use the metals as the metals have the high electrical conductivity low c back coefficient and the high thermal conductivity and the low figure of merit so it is used for the electrode and interconnects next is the semiconductors which are having a moderate electrical conductivity and the c back coefficient but high thermal conductivity resulting in the moderate figure of merit as to increase the efficiency we require the high figure of merit but by using this we get the moderate figure of merit so semiconductors can be doped to create n type or p type material with different carrier concentration and the mobilities and after that we can enhance its efficiency by doping n type or n type of uh, p type or n type material and semiconductors are widely used as a thermoelectric material for the low temperature application like when we require the low uh, temperature application then we use the semiconductor temperature below the 200 degree centigrade complex compound have low electrical conductivity but having a high c back coefficient and low thermal conductivity resulting in a high figure of merit it means apart from the metals and the semiconductors complex compound can produce a high figure of merit so complex compound are usually composed of multiple elements with the different valence states and the crystal structure which create the complex electronic band structure and phonon scattering mechanism that enhance the thermoelectric performance so complex compound play an important role for the construction of the thermoelectric generator devices and uh, this is usually composed of the multiple elements with the different valence states and the crystal structure 
and uh, which create the complex electronic band structure and the photon staining mechanism and that en enhance the thermoelectric parameters. Moreover, the complex compounds are widely used as the thermal thermoelectric materials for the high temperature applications. For the low, we use the semiconductors, but for about 200 degrees centigrade or for the high temperature application, we use the complex compounds so that we can get the high degree of the efficiency. What are the example of the some uh, thermoelectric materials? What type of materials we can uh, we can take for the construction of the thermoelectric generator? Bismuth telluride that is Bi2Te3 and its alloy we can use. These are the most widely used thermoelectric materials for the low temperature application that is below the 200 degree centigrade. Such uh, as cooling devices and the power generation uh, from the waste heat sources and has uh, this uh, B, uh, Bi2Te3 has a layered structure and then consists of the alternating, uh, alternating layer of the Bi2 and the Te3 so that uh, the atoms bonded by the weak valence bond and the forces. This structure result in the low thermal conductivity due to the phonon scattering at the layer boundaries. So, this type of allow can be, this type of allow can uh, use the other materials also such as antimony, selenium or the sulphur to tune its electrical properties and optimize its figure of merit. Means these have materials like uh, selenium, like antimony, like sulphur can be doped just to increase the figure of merit and we can optimize the material by doping this. Next type of material that we can use is the lead telluride that is PBTE and its alloys that we can use it. So, these are among the most widely used thermoelectric material for medium temperature application like 200 to 600 degrees centigrade and such as power generation from the automotive exhaust or the industrial waste heat sources. So, lead telluride a rock salt structure has a rock, uh, rock salt structure and that consists of the alternating layer of the PB2 and Te2 and Te minus bond by the strong ionic forces. All the layers are alternating layers are attached here. So, the, so we have the uh, lead telluride PBTE and it is allowed for the construction of the thermoelectric material if we require the medium temperature application like 200 to 600 degree centigrade. Next is the, the complex compound that generate the formula MX3 where M can be the transition metal such as the cobalt means we can add the another elements also we can make, make it the mechanical the complex compound compound by making by adding the transition metal like uh, if we take the cobalt and uh, antimony and then uh, we can uh, make it COSP3 like uh, this type of uh, compound can be used for the uh, for the construction of the thermoelectric generator. So, general formula we can use mx3. What is the power defined? When we define any uh, power efficiency of the device that it will be PL is equal to alpha del T divided by R plus R L square R L. So, uh, uh, scatteroids have a cubic structure that consists of the three dimensional network like M4x12 means that M and X can be any complex material and uh, large void that can accommodate the guest atoms such as the earth elements are the guest atoms act as a phonon and uh, uh, reduce the thermal conductivity and the host metal provide the high electrical conductivity and produce the high C back coefficient, uh, coefficient and moreover it is the uh, uh, melt of uh, 
uh, figure of merit is high in this case. Scatroids are the promising thermoelectric materials for the medium or to the high temperature where we use a complex material. So, we can take it as 300 to 800 such as the power generation from waste heat recovery or the concentrator. Uh, so, that we can use. Next type of compound that we can use the half hyster that compounds uh, there are the ternary compound which with the general formula x y z. Now, what is x? x is a transition metal like uh, titanium, y is the another transition metal like the nickel and z is the main group element in which we can take the tin and etc. So, uh, that can be used for generate the solar power. So, this type of compound uh, used to convert the solar into the electrical energy. So, so uh, that is the uh, half useless compound where we take the two transitions and one is the main element, main group element. So, oh, that is represented by x, y, z like titanium, trans y is the another transition metal and z is the main group element. So, half useless compound have a cubic structure that consists of the four interpenetrating accessory sublattices. One occupy the x atom, another three occupy the x y, uh, one occupied by the x atom and other three occupied by the y and z atoms in the ratio of the 1 by 2. Half Hustler uh, compounds have high Seebeck coefficient. If it is a high Seebeck coefficient, it means efficiency is high and this electrical conductivity is high due to the complex electronic band structure and the low thermal conductivity due to their heavy constituent atoms. So, this type of compound have a promising thermoelectric materials for the high temperature application. Like when we have a temperature about 800 degree centigrade, then we use this type of compound such as power generation from the nuclear reactor or the aerospace engines where we use these compounds. That means, when we are talking about the high temperature application, then we use the, um, then we use the, um, this type of compound for the construction of the thermoelectric material. Now, what are the application of the thermoelectric generator? They are thermoelectric generators used in many electronic devices as depend upon the temperature, in which temperature range we can use which device. So, there are the lots of application of the thermoelectric devices on the basis of its the temperature range as well as its the material as well as its power outputs as well as its efficiency. So, that we will discuss in the next lecture. Thank you very much.